Hi, hello everybody. I hope you're all well today. Uh, what we're going to be talking about in this very first of many little videos with PowerPoint here are going to be virtual school expectations, tips for success. And then finally, again, my words about and how this whole process begins, which isn't until tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, you're going to be taking my expectations and putting them into action uh, and getting started with your very first new assignments as well as new information for some of your classes. So please make sure that after listening to this PowerPoint, looking through this PowerPoint, that you get yourself organized and ready to really dive in starting first thing tomorrow. So expectations. When it comes to virtual school, this is a brand new concept to most of you guys. And it's something that even myself are not totally in, well versed in this all the time. I did take some virtual schooling while I was in college, but that was a very long time ago. So I've set up here just some expectations so that you know exactly what it is that you should be doing, as well as having full transparency going back to me so that there's no unexpected twists and turns here. So very first expectation for all of you guys is to check in every day. Uh, even if there isn't a new assignment every day, you still should be checking into Google Classroom. It will still remain the end all be all for your classes as they go. I will be posting PowerPoints and reminders. I'll put directions there. Uh, you need to keep track of new information as it's coming through. The second uh, expectation is for you to participate. Ever so often I need to check in with classroom and I'm looking for replies, especially when it comes to different kinds of critiques and what's working and what's not working. Like I said, this is new for all of us and I'm trying to create a virtual schooling experience that is both not overwhelming, but as well as challenging for you guys so that you're still learning and you're still observing, absorbing as much as possible. So make sure that you can contribute to those. Your feedback is going to help kind of mold how we go forward through this process. Uh, the next expectation is to take notes. You have all been working with me for weeks, some of you for months now. You know that I'm going to still be giving you information that you need to have for your assessments when they come around, and uh, there will be notes that you need to take. Whether you opt to take those notes into your notebooks as you go through, or if you have the capability, print them off and keep them organized with the rest of your stuff. It doesn't matter. I will be recording every PowerPoint like this with my voice over it to better explain the material and to hopefully get a much more rich understanding. Some of you guys are auditory listeners or learners, and you need to be able to hear me explain stuff. So even if you print the notes, you should still listen to the PowerPoints each day as I go through them. The final expectation is that you complete your work that you get assigned. There will definitely be a lot less work than in a normal classroom situation, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be less challenging for some of you guys to get your work completed. The work, though, will be signed individually for the most part. All work should be completed and submitted, and I will be looking very closely at everything that you can give back to me uh, may, to make sure that it is your work and your work alone. Okay, tips. Tips for success. Tips to help you figure out how this whole thing is going to work and come back out on the other side ready to succeed in your future classes and in your future situations like this. So the first thing, and probably the most important, is you got to get a routine as soon as possible. Uh, routine is the best way to help you be successful. You are used to routines. Human beings gravitate towards them. There's a reason for that. It puts your brain into an organized sort of pathway every day, and then expectation starts to fall into a rhythm, and that rhythm creates comfort and then a better way to absorb and to engage. So Go to sleep at the same time every day. Get up at the same time. Eat your meals at the same time. Schedule your work time for the same time. Again, the sooner you get into routine, the more comfortable everything becomes and the less stressful you'll be in the long run. Another really big tip for you guys is you have to create 
checklists. You have to set reminders for yourselves. We're not going to be there in the moment every day to remind you constantly when things are due and what activities should be done and all that sort of stuff. So if you create little checklists for yourself daily or again for the week, you can check things off. And at number one, that feels great. Uh, you got to set reminders for yourself so that you're getting things done and completed. Again, use your tools that are available, your phone, your computer, whatever it is. Uh, set reminders, use a calendar, uh, anything to be able to help keep you on the right path. You have a lot of independence with this virtual schooling information and you need to rise to the occasion. I'm going to give you as many resources and as much as I can, but really, I'm not there. I'm not there to tell you things in person. And I know that is something that a lot of you guys need still. Um, I would definitely encourage you guys to work together. You're all in this together. Again, part of my high school musical reference. Uh, and the classes are all covering the same stuff and they're assigning similar information. And if you are not comfortable reaching out to me, then you should work together. Uh, again, use the, each other's resources for support, for guidance, to complain about this and that and that. And we know that everybody's going to complain and that's fine, right? Uh, the final and probably more important than the routine is you got to communicate with me. I'm going to be available all the time as much as humanly possible, especially during normal school hours. You can email me, you can comment on posts. I do plan to also utilize a new tool, which is Google Meet. Uh, it's basically a way that you can communicate with me live, ask me questions. I'll be able to talk about things specifically. Uh, when I post those various things, they'll be on Classroom uh, with the directions and the access codes. Uh, and You'll be able to come in. You don't have to participate. Uh, again, you can just hear me and listen and ask me questions. Again, via chat or you can ex actually communicate with me face to face using webcam. Uh, the moment that you need help or you're confused or you just need some extra clarification, please reach out to me. I'm going to be available. That's the whole deal. Uh, when it comes right down to it, like I said, real school stuff starts tomorrow. Please make sure that you are checking classroom first thing in the morning. That's when everything will get posted. And then if you have questions as we get going, let me know. Uh, I hope you guys all have a great day and that you're staying healthy. Remember, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.